Welcome to Forbidden Planet TV. I am Andrew Sumner. This is Ed Bristle. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing great. Doing a great now, day. Now, recently, you joined us to talk about your epic uh, Predator book from Marvel Comics, and, and um, uh, we're, we're very much enjoying that here at Forbidden Planet. What we're really also looking forward to is your upcoming Batman Incorporated book from DC. So uh, before we get into that, what can you tell me about the genesis of your involvement with that, mate? So I was, you know, the, the boring version of it is that Ben Abernathy, editor uh, over there at DC, had contacted me um, a while back that they wanted to do a Batman annual uh, that would sort of set up a new uh, version of Batman Incorporated. And obviously, would I be interested? And, you know, uh, I was kind of given carte blanche to set up the team how I wanted. Uh, the criteria was that Batman was going to be handing over the, the reins to Ghostmaker, um, which uh, is a character who I like writing a great deal. Uh, you know, his, his whole deal is his psychopathy. He has very little empathy. Uh, he's like the, he's like Batman, if Batman had no problem, uh, you know, hurting and killing, uh, which uh, is something that appeals to me in, in the character. And then uh, Clown Hunter would be there sort of as his, because uh, uh, he'd made a promise to Batman that he would sort of look after and train Clown Hunter. So, you know, there, Ghostmaker and Clown Hunter are, are the Batman Robin proxy for the team. They're running it. Uh, and so, yeah, it was just that, like they wanted to do a one adventure in the annual where Ghostmaker and the rest of Batman Inc. were sort of cleaning up this mess of Lex Luthor's where he'd been sort of trying to create his own sort of Batman um, that was the program that gave us the character Abyss. Um, so we sort of did that. We you know introduced a new character named Grey Wolf, who we then sort of... Uh, amalgamated onto the team and sort of set some wheels in motion to do a Batman Incorporated series, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm, uh, I'm mostly done writing the first arc, so we're actually quite ahead on it, uh, which has been, uh, which is not always the case when we're writing comics. So it's, it's exciting to be that far ahead and, and have uh, so much track already put down, I guess. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Who's your artist on the book, mate? Oh, so John Timms is the artist. He's just absolutely yeah. incredible. Uh, every, like, oh, man, <laughs> every time he sends in pages, it's like Christmas morning over here. I love, uh, I absolutely love working with him. And he's got just such a great energetic style that is, uh, that's just, you know, it, it, it makes me excited to read my own work, which is, uh, you know, sometimes it can be tough to read your own writing after after you've sent it out the door, but uh, he makes it a, a real pleasure. Yeah, no, it's I, I love that very uh, propulsive style that he has. I, I, I could you talk us through uh, as much as you can share about the first arc uh -huh. at, uh, it, at this stage of the game? So I don't know how much I can say that's not not verging into spoiler territory. But uh, what I guess I can say is that uh, in the first issue, we find out that somebody is going around and killing uh, Batman and Ghostmaker's past mentors. So the people who trained them and basically taught them uh, you know, the skills that they know today. And some, some of these are characters that um, uh, are being introduced in, in the Night by Chip Zarsky and um, I, I know the artist's name and I'm blanking on it and I apologize to the artist right now, but uh, in The Night, uh, there's a few characters and there are characters who have been introduced in the past who we've seen training Batman. And then, you know, uh, as we learn more about Ghostmaker, you know, we learn that the two of them train together quite often. And uh, so somebody's killing them. and uh, Ghostmaker is a trying to find out who's killing them, uh, you know, with the help of, of Batman Incorporated, and b trying to seek out and protect uh, any of the mentors who are still uh, walking and talking, and that's sort of where it starts. Uh, and as they sort of push the investigation forward, 
we start to learn some fairly dark secrets from Ghostmaker's past that may sort of undo everything that they're they're setting up here. And that's about as far as I can go without being like incredibly spoilery. I, lo I love it, mate. That's more than enough. I hadn't actually appreciated that you had that link with the night, which I, I think is a great book that Chip and his collaborators are, are, are putting out. So I think that's a very neat thing. It was, uh, that was actually not uh, initially intentional. <laughs> it was uh, when I started uh, working on Batman Inc., I think uh, Chip was already working on, on um, the night, but I didn't realize that they were using the trainers. And so we had that sort of uh, overlap. So, you know, I got in touch with Chip and we talked a little bit and uh, I didn't want to kill off all the characters <laughs> he was introducing, obviously. But, uh, you know, uh, we used some from there. We used some from uh, some trainers, some mentors from stuff that James Tynan had done recently and stuff that Scott Snyder had done a, a few years back. So there's there will be callbacks to characters who you probably haven't seen since, you know, the launch of Rebirth. But, uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff in there. I mean, I think it must, it must be a very interesting time to work within the Batman universe, the Batman family, because... Um, as somebody who's read Batman comics for a massively long period of time, uh, I, I, it, it, I think what's been very interesting over the last 10 to 15 years is is how much DC and guys like Tyne and Snyder have like opened up the cast list of, of that Batman like Gotham universe. So what's interesting about the Batman Incorporated you're working on is, is it would seem to me that it's mainly relatively new characters in terms of when they were created. Yeah, I think most of the characters are um, uh, they're they're Batman Incorporated characters who've been. I think they debuted around 2011. If, yeah. You know, some of them have been along around a bit longer than that. But uh, the one thing I, I did realize while I was writing it is how many of them are sort of sidekicks that have either assumed the role or or, or been promoted up. You know, with uh, Batman Japan. Uh, Knight, which, you know, used to be Squire, and uh, uh, we have in 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 our run, Chief Manabat has been sort of kicked down to the to the local team, and his son, uh, Raven Red, has been promoted up. So there's a, and, you know, we've got Clown Hunter on the team as well. So the, the team is almost like half sidekicks, uh, yeah. or former sidekicks, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, so that and that's actually I find kind of exciting because it's a you know people who are sort of new uh, to the major leagues for lack of a better comparison and uh, sort of still enamored with it and still uh, still learning and and screwing up and making mistakes which is always great uh, from my perspective not great for the team but for me it's great. Yeah no no I I, I totally get that and uh, you're talking about Ghostmaker it seems to me that the great joy of writing a character like that is one of the things you've touched upon. Uh, of the psychopathy but, of, but yes. also the just the, the raw blatant hedonism of the character as well which is kind of non-batman-esque that's what it's yeah about. no he's he's definitely like the other side of that the way that batman could have gone um and i like it's a lot of fun there's there's so much stuff i love that his whole um his whole sort of drive is just to be better than criminals not to be not to like stamp out crime necessarily just to just to beat them you know and uh there's a lot of fun there and i think you know uh, the dynamic between him and clown hunter is a lot of fun to write because you know uh, clown hunter is sort of a bit of a sociopath and so you got like your psychopath and sociopath sort of teamed up together uh obviously butting heads non-stop um and both of them are trying to you know they promise batman no more killing and so they're they're constantly butting up against it because it's always sort of the easiest solution uh and you know, watching them sort of uh, try and rationalize why they shouldn't is, is a lot of fun. And just the two of them don't get along. And so it's not like a Batman and Robin uh, not getting along sometimes, but there's still the love there. There's still that sort of thing. There's there's no, there's none of that. So uh, it, it makes for a really um, uh, tenuous relationship that is that will play actually a big role in especially this first arc. Brilliant, mate. And, and everybody watching this can find everything that Ed's talking about within the pages of Batman Incorporated, which you can pre-order from the links attached to our conversation. Ed, thanks so much for joining us on Forbidden Planet TV. It's really nice to meet you. All right, you too, man. Thanks for having me.
If you're enjoying watching Forbidden Planet TV and you're enjoying watching us talk to the world's most interesting and accomplished filmmakers, authors, artists, musicians, creators, subscribe right here. See you soon.